All right, we'll try to do a little bit more. It's a bit longer than I expected, but whatever. We're in overtime. Study to improve our... No, it's not. I keep doing the wrong one. Ask someone to help us. Help from Hammond. And we should have... Eh, no, that's not it either. So many menus, I just keep picking the wrong ones. 55 in Street Smarts. Wow, it's even higher than I thought. So we should be good on that, right? With our 55 in Street Smarts, that means we don't have to worry about the matchmaker? I don't know. You guys let me know if we're good or if we should try raising something else now. Because we could go ahead and try to do that. I could try to raise people. That's pretty close. Don't know what does people, though. Alright, a new day dawns. So we got 55 in uh, that. Mm, let me see once again. Oh, wait. Before I do that, let's see. Beauty tips from Maid would do beauty, obviously. Wander the Isles with Emmet? I don't know what that would do. Skulk around the castle with ha Well, that's the one that does what? Well, learn to defend, self defense. And uh, dancing with Jasper be. Is dancing an option? <laughs> uh, let's see here. What would dancing do? Maybe Grace. But it's, it's knowledge that we need to get up, right? That's what they said before. Hmm. And what would do people? Oops, not that one. None of these do people. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we try to get people up? Our knowledge of people? Because maybe we go to the library to do that, like we'd read books about the history and what people have done. Let's see if anyone suggested something. Uh, too many to choose. Yeah, I'm a bit unclear on options, damn it. Fortunately, I think... What I'll do is I'll save, and we'll see if any of these do people. Academics. So that probably didn't raise people, I'm guessing. No, just academics, which is under what? Uh, I got academics up. Can we go back? Let's see. Do a bit of experimentation with save scumming. Ah, let's see. Female, Anna and Penelope, male, Emmett. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Christy, since you're in chat, I guess I'll ask you. Uh, what gets our knowledge of people up? Because I'm trying to get that up to 50 as well, just so we have better odds at the matchmaker event, hopefully. And I'm not sure what does that, because I don't see anything for it. Unless, like, if we go with Emmett, he discusses things with us. But I'm not sure. It's probably just something with, uh, walking. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Because some of these things, when we explore the castle, get it up, but it's a bit vague what each one does. Maybe if we hang out with the staff quarters, we get to know people? It may not be generally proved practical things, so that's still not people. Let's try some more. The parlor? Ah, it might be the parlor. You're idly exploring the castle when you're drawn in by the unexpected sound of beautiful, beautiful music coming from the parlor. You peek inside to find a young Isle native, maybe 13 or 14, practicing his oboe. You listen to the pleasant music for a moment before moving on. Book smarts fail, uh. <laughs> so I guess we didn't get whatever from that. Damn it. Hmm. I think I'll just hang out in the guest hall, maybe we'll get to see people in there. Ah, yes, that did it. You spend your time observing what all the other guests are up to. You feel like your time is giving you a better understanding of people. There we go. Quite conveniently, you have one of the ocean-facing windows, so you've been able to keep an eye out, watching the sales of incoming trade ships. Finally this afternoon, the one you have been waiting for has appeared. Ah, here we go. May I find out a bit about the mystery. Your sudden need for fresh air leads you to an idle walk that just happens to lead to the docks. Yeah, it just happens. Spotting your countrymen, of course, the polite thing is to greet them and to welcome them back to the aisle. Ah, Lady Sora, what an unexpected delight to see you again. Captain, I'm very pleased to see you, and your crew looks so well. How was your voyage? Profitable, I trust? Indeed, it's always interesting to come to the aisle, but since you're staying here, I'm sure you know that very well. Yes, it's more interesting here than I expected. How is home? And your families, are they well? Very well, indeed. Thank you for inquiring. And Corval is as always. And Corval is as it always is. 
despite feeling the loss of such a lovely lady. And not the loss of the third prince. Oh, I wouldn't say that. The waters of the sea are rising from all the tears ladies are shedding in his absence. You laugh agreeably. I'm sorry to say we couldn't find any of that rare incense you were asking about, my lady. All we could find is that it's not something easily acquired on the isle. So one of the uh, delegates probably brought it, most likely. If you smelled it here, it came from distant shores. Uh, that's a shame, but thank you for your efforts, good captain. If I may ever return the favor, just ask. Indeed, I will keep your offer in mind. Fair travels, my lady. I hope you end up where you desire to. Thank you again, Captain. I assure you, I'm quite a skilled navigator. Of that I have no doubt. Now if you will excuse me, I have to help my men unload those spices, or else they will mutiny for sure. Of course, Captain. Until we meet again. You head back to your room with a pleasant smile on your face and with a sedate pace. But belying your carefully constructed appearance, your mind was racing. So your letter and whoever was behind the threat was in Corval, not the Isle. Was it better or more dangerous to have a distant enemy? At the very least, you could finally rule out Zarad as a suspect, although you never thought it was his style. Well, you have a starting point, so it'll be time to initiate your own counter moves. But not tonight. You still have other things to attend to. Hmm. Alright. Interesting. But I still think there might be more than one uh, conspirator. Let's see. Oops. I was just seeing you guys in chat are talking about which playthrough you saw first. Some from Magical Diary, others from uh, Dandelion. Oh, Dandelion was an interesting playthrough to come through on. I will say that much. <laughs> ah, but anyway, let's see. I want to just double check and make sure... Our knowledge of people is up to 45. Yes, we do it one more time, we'll get to 50. And supposedly that's the important amount. So we go to the castle and the guest hall. There we go. Knowledge of people is up. A new day of dawns. 24 hours remain, or 48. I don't know how much we have left, actually. <laughs> the morning sun shines brightly into your eyes, relentless, and it's determination that it is morning and you can avoid it no longer. Soon you have to wake up and face the day. Or rather, more to the point, face the matchmaker again. That's today? Oh no, even less than I thought. How'd you sleep last night? Eh, none of your business. We slept perfectly fine. I don't allow something as logical as nerves to affect me. You've been working very hard, supposedly. Do you feel better prepared to face the matchmaker this time around? I worked hard, so I think I'll have improved. Eh, yeah, sure. And how have you prepared for, uh, how have your preparations been coming? I think they went pretty well. We follow the advice of respected experts and stream chat alike, so that's always good. I guess this is the one. Sure, close enough anyway. What about your suddenly non-stop social life? How's that affecting you? It's pretty fun. Been managing it well? Yeah, it's been pretty fun actually. So many people to meet and chat to, and chat to, great times. We're had by all. I know today is your second interview and that's very nerve-wracking. But have you spared any thought to the fate of your fellow delegates? Hmm, uh, yeah, I think so. Making curse dolls, wow. Hmm. Yeah, we kind of helped some of the uh, other delegates. We helped uh, Penelope a bit. We've talked with, uh, I don't know how much we helped her, but we talked with Anna for a while. Sure. With a face as grim as if he is summoning to your executioner, Okay, that might be more the fault of your imagination than anything on his face. Jasper pulls back the curtains of your bed and clears his throat. Lady Sora, I'm afraid we have delayed long enough. It is time. With his butlery powers of efficiency, under supervision, it is barely any time at all before you've been primped and polished and shined and stuffed into your best functional outfit until even you have to admit that you rarely looked better. I feel like I'm being sent off on a marriage interview to try and impress my potential husband and his famous famously picky family of potentially terrible in-laws of doom. <laughs> you rather are, but actually, I believe the matchmaker would be harder to please than a hundred such dreadful potential relatives. Thank you, Jasper. As always, you completely do your duty to be as reassuring as possible. 
I think the truth serves as better preparation and re reassurance than a thousand sweet lies ever told, Lady Sora. Now no more delays, we should leave now. Good luck, my lady. I'm sure the matchmaker will get to know you better this time and see how amazing you truly are. Do not be afraid. I am most confident in you of any I am most confident in you of any I've been assigned to since I became a butler. Well thank you. And how many is that? Surely it couldn't have been more than just the one. The last time it was seven years ago. How old could Jasper be? Well he has white hair. I mean his face looks young, true. But eh, it's always hard to tell. Jasper just smiles mysteriously. Uh, and if you do not know the answer to a question, or simply do not wish to give it, smiling is always a good response. Thanks for the advice. After bidding your mates goodbye, Jasper walks you through the halls to the matchmaker's doors. Alright, time to cross your fingers everyone and hope this goes well. <laughs> I will not be able to accompany it. I will not be able to accompany you this time, even any further than this. You worry too much, of course I'll be fine on my own. I know. You can't quite bring color back to your cheeks or steady your hands to keep them from shaking a little, but you do manage to step forward and open the door. Inside the matchmaker and her same pinched face pinched faced note taker sit. The matchmaker gives you a regal wave inside. You step and have barely made it inside the room before the heavy doors close behind you with a loud bang. Ah, Lady Sora, right on time, as expected from Jasper's girl. Come in, take a seat. I confess. I've been looking forward to talking to you all morning. Aren't I your first interview today, Lady Matchmaker? She breaks out into a loud cackle. <laughs> I see some of Jasper's dry wit has rubbed off on you, girl. Now come in. Come in. My, are, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I want to get a good look at you. At her insistence, you walk into the room and take the seat facing across from her at the little table in the center of the room. Like she's a concerned old aunt, and the pair of you are going to have a nice little chat with tea. You give her your best tea with highly respected auntie smile. You manage to be at least par partially convincing, but it's not enough to fool a matchmaker who just raises an eyebrow at you. Oh, I really am looking forward to this. You may not be aware, but the castle is abuzz with talk of you, Lady Sora. Of course you- of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Like they have anyone more interesting to talk about? I've always found it an interesting proposition myself throwing a bunch of strangers in some degree of direct competition with another together, forcing them to be on their best behavior and giving them no outside company and little contact with home for weeks at a time, that is. Katja always thought this would be... Katja always thought this would force people to learn about one another, throw away their preconceived notions, and create lasting bonds with one another. For her, this proved true. For everyone else, well... I find it an interesting judge of a person's true character to see them go through this little social crucible. You learn so much with what that person is made of here at the Isle by watching and by listening. For better or worse, there's been much to listen about you. While you've earned your share of friendship, you've inspired just as much indifference, really. It neither speaks well of you nor poorly of you. Of course friendship is certainly valuable, you're all here in hopes of finding or stealing a true heart's connection. Perhaps romance is not what you seek here at the Isle, or perhaps your heart is already loyal to one. I will not judge you for it, but it was rather premature for you to close so many doors already. Close doors already? In what, in what regard, I wonder? Not sure what she's talking about exactly. Of course, no matter how much someone likes you, for a true alliance in all senses, you must also be seen as an approved, respectable bride. You have not become... You have not become someone of any particular note, but neither have you regarded negatively. Of course, if you truly want to be a player <laughs> on the international stage, it doesn't only matter if people like you or even love you. People have to respect you. Well, we have some respect for some people. Or maybe not. It's rather disappointing how little respect you've managed to gain from your peers. Really? Oh well. Rip playthrough. And of course, Relationships aren't all sunshine and butterflies, especially here at the summit. I wonder if you have made yourself some rivals. Eh, two I know of, anyway. You've managed to not ruffle very many feathers, considering how many feathers there are to be ruffled. That's... that rather says something about you. While you have not yet mastered the skill, Lady Sora, you are showing some promise in the area of quick understanding people. Yes, that did work out after all. And finding the right thing to say to them in response. It's a rare gift, 
and one well, one well worth developing. But it's not just interacting with people and building relationships you have been doing since we arrived at the Isle. I have known Jasper's word that you have been studying diligently and working very hard to improve yourself. It has made me curious to see if you've truly made any progress. Your appearance is unfortunately as helpless as ever. I will note your failure to improve. Oh, wow. How am I supposed to improve my looks? <laughs> I guess we could like dress more uh, fancily, but really. You're still completely dependent upon others when it comes to matters of protecting yourself. I will note your failure to improve. Well, yeah, this is going pretty poorly already. You still have not solved your problem in regards to your grace or rather your complete lack of it. I will note your failure to improve. You have become quite the eloquent speaker, though. I'm impressed. You're still cowardly as ever, Lady Sora. I will note your failure to improve. Your manners and etiquette are impeccable. Nothing more needs to be said on that subject. You still lack even the trace of cunning. Being too guileless will not serve you well. I will note your failure to improve. Well, this isn't a good success rate so far. <laughs> You lack even a minimal amount of poise, which is regretful. I will note your failure to improve. You have enough natural charisma to serve you well enough. You have enough intelligence to serve your needs. You are charming enough to survive the social dances your life will require. You still haven't even the ability to command a very obedient dog. I don't know how you expect a position of power with such poor leadership. I will note your failure to improve. I have seen your mastery of politics in action. Impressive. You have talent and knowledge of some very unusual skills, Lady Sora. I find it interesting, something I rarely feel about you delegates. Your understanding of people is quite impressive, and, I and it certainly will prove useful. Oh no! Oh no! It gives me no pleasure to say this, for I know it will bitterly disappoint Jasper, of whom I am fond, but I cannot in conscience declare you a fit delegate. You had a second chance, a chance to change my mind, but you did not use it well. You will not get another. Oh, well. Well, I had a feeling it was probably going to go that way. No country will sanction an alliance or even listen to the advice of a delegate when the matchmaker declares you unfit. To save yourself and your country any further shame, it is hastily decided it's best for you to return home immediately. In the end, Lady Sir of Corville was sent home in disgrace and didn't even register as a footnote in history. Damn. Harsher words were never spoken. And wow, this is really hard to read. Could she have been something more? Probably if we knew what we were doing. Could she have changed what happened after that fateful summit? The world will never know. Well, we could do another playthrough and find out, but we'll probably wait for the full three and see what really happens. Your story's come to an end. We'll least improve. We failed to impress the matchmaker, and we were sent home in disgrace. Well, we did. I thought we improved a lot, but there, there's still a lot of other stuff we didn't do quite well. Ah, well. Well, so that was the demo. Interesting stuff. I'm glad I got through it all, even if we failed. So quite a bit of amusing content, and I liked it. <laughs> so there are the credits. I'll let you read all that. That was a lot of fun. So what did you guys think of it? Our remarkable failure didn't go uh, according to plan. But hey, we had fun. <sighs> Alright. Quite a number of people in the credits. Oh, it's Creative Commons, so they're just listing, uh, I guess, all the free assets they used. So, an Azaline Studios production, I think that says. Very nice demo. I have to say, I'm very impressed by uh, what I saw in this demo. And I'm really feeling this, so I'll be really curious to see what the full thing uh, entails. Really like the game, obviously. Yeah, you guys love the game. Nice. Very nice. Glad to see you guys were liking it. I'm definitely really excited about this uh, visual novel to see how the whole story turns out. Very promising. You know, I certainly enjoy dating sims and that kind of thing. But especially when it has a lot of thought put into it with the story and there's a lot of depth with uh, like the politics and you know the workings right that like manipulate people that's really cool and I'm really interested to see how the full thing turns out it's kind of like a bit of uh, long live the queen mixed with some you know uh, like more traditional visual novels 
where there's relationships. So that's pretty cool. Finn, yes, we did it. Special thanks to all the amazing beta testers. Hey, let's see if there's anyone we recognize in here in particular. I'm pretty sure there should be. Uh, yep, there you are, Christy78968. The, uh, <laughs> the harder to remember nickname in there. Let's see, anyone else I recognize? Let's see. Hmm, don't think so. Harry Pooter. <laughs> Great screen name. Yeah, great stuff though. I'm definitely excited to see the full thing. I'm not sure when the full product comes out. I think it says on their uh, on their Kickstarter, which I'll quickly check out and see when they say it's supposed to be. Unless someone gets to it in uh, chat before me, which might happen. So when's the expected delivery date on this? It says, wow, September, no, April 2016. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, the pol political aspects are certainly intriguing, so I'm curious to see what the whole truth behind it is. Because we obviously know that these countries don't all get along with one another, but who's the one trying to kill us, or which ones, because there might be multiple ones. We don't know for sure. Oh, and I will ask you guys, so, uh, which are your, uh, favorite picks for, uh, the people we can romance? I know I saw some options already suggested in there. Yeah, I noticed you guys were discussing earlier, we were talking about which ones you preferred. I still say that I prefer Hammond. Interestingly enough, there's a guy named Hammond that, uh, contributed to this, uh, beta testing. And congratulations on completing the demo. Well, we didn't do too well, but thanks for the congratulations anyway. I guess. Solve a murder. Win over the people. Plan and host a grand ball. Resolve your personal plot. Outwit your enemies. Discover hidden agendas and secret factions. Inspire change. Satisfy your nation. Fall in love. Get engaged and get married. Build alliances and negotiate treaties. Start a war. Well, you should probably try to avoid that. Live, die, succeed, fail, and change destiny. Or our destiny, rather. And determine the fate of the Seven Kingdoms. Coming late 2015. Oh, maybe it will be late 2015 then. There's something that said September and there's something else that said April. Maybe April was for something else, but yeah, pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what the full thing is anyway. Follow news and updates on the game. Yeah, be sure to subscribe to them on uh, Tumblr or Twitter or WordPress, wherever the heck they're using. Because, uh, can't wait to see when the full thing comes out. <laughs> All right. One of the tips on the game's site is that if you have high intelligence and manipulation, you see a completely different side of the story. Yeah, I was thinking that like when I first saw, uh, what's his name, Grand Duke Woodley. Like I thought there was a lot to towards that. That's kind of like hidden behind the scenes with like goings on that he doesn't want to tell us about. But if we like we're high enough with manipulative skills and like speechcraft, we could probably earn our way into his good graces and find out exactly what's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> you picked the choice where you wouldn't get kicked off the island. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that kind of playthrough, but uh, we'll probably do that for like the full game itself, I guess. This at least was a fun thing to show off for uh, the demo. So I will thank you guys for watching this. I'll probably hang on the stream chat for a bit longer and just see what you guys want to talk about because there's some interesting conversation going on about the beta testing and all that. But yeah, stay tuned for uh, more streaming in the future, because I will be doing more of this at some point. I'll just have to think of some uh, new game to stream now. Thankfully, we finally got this one finished, so we can move on to other games now, which I kind of want to try out. So we'll see how that goes in the future. Until then, take care, guys.